Hello again. I had to give my voice a couple of hours of rest before attempting to record the solution to the second question of the final exam of a couple of weeks ago. Question number two. For 15% of the value of the exam, find the Thevenin equivalent circuit seen by this 3 kilo ohm resistor, the resistor between terminals A and B. And it goes ahead and insists, note, that the intended Thevenin equivalent circuit does not include the 3 kilo ohm resistor itself. So the first thing we need to do, of course, is remove this uh, 3 kilo ohm resistor because it's not part of the circuit for which we need to find the Thevenin equivalent. Let's do that. To find the Thevenin equivalent of the, of the port A, B for any network, we have seen in class several methods. One of them is the use of two different independent current sources. We take the circuit and at the port AB we connect one of those independent current sources like this one. Let's call that source O1 and then we solve the circuit and compute what is a voltage V1 that appears there. And we repeat that a second time with a different value of the current source. In this case I'm calling that I2 and compute what is the voltage that appears. Of course, each one of those two solutions gives us a one linear equation that we need to solve for. This one. And from there we find V7 and, and R7. And that is the two current sources method that we have seen in class detailedly. Uh, but there was also another method, the classic method. In the classic method, we would not connect anything at the port first and just compute what was the voltage that appeared there at that port and we call that the open circuit voltage, VOC. And then we would short the port with a wire and compute what is the short circuit current flowing through that wire. We said that in that method, V7 was directly the value of the open circuit test and that R7 would be uh, the ratio between VOC and I short circuit. I'm going to use that classic method. Open circuit test, OCT, short circuit test, SCT. So we're going to use the classic method to find the Thevenin equivalent of the circuit seen by the 3 kilo ohm resistor. Of course, the 3 kilo ohm resistor has been expunged as instructed by the description of the problem. Now we need to find the open circuit voltage here. This voltage here, VOC. Nothing is connected there. I'm pretty sure you started doing this. I'm going to call this my reference node and node 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and write a bunch of CTL, KVL and KCL equations and eventually you find V1 and V1 would be VOC and VOC in the classic method is V7. However, no, 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 that is not the the way I'm going to solve it. I started like that, to be completely honest, but as soon as I did that, I realized, hey, there is nothing connected here, right? No, there isn't, because this is an open circuit, so this current, 2 milliamps, needs to be flowing through this 1 kilo ohm resistor like that, 2 milliamps. But 2 milliamps, 1 kilo ohm resistor, of course, the voltage here has this polarity and has a value of 2 volts. 2 volts? 12 volts? Of course we can compute VOC directly when one KVL equation there and we find that VOC with that polarity is negative 10 volts. And that by the way is V7 and that is the first part of finding the Thevenin equivalent. Now we come to the second test, the short circuit test. We short circuit the port AB and we are to compute this short circuit current with that direction. What current is that? Oh, well, let me work through that the same way as before. This is my reference, which means that this is also my reference node because they are joined together with that. It's the same node, all right? Hmm. Immediately we realize this voltage here is applied between the central node and the reference node. So the voltage here 
with this polarity is 12 volts. That means that this current is 12 volts, 1 kilo ohm, this is 12 milliamps, and this current has to be applying a KCL equation here, just negative 10 milliamps. Easy. That is a short circuit current. So we have from before that the open circuit voltage is negative 10 volts, and this one allows us to say that R7 is negative 10 divided by negative 10 millis, that is 1 kilo ohm. So we have an equivalent circuit, an equivalent thevenin, and the port AB for the circuit seen by the 3 kilo ohm resistor, 1 kilo ohm resistor here, and it is higher than the bottom by negative 10 volts, or what is the same, I can draw it like this, 10 volts like that. And that is my equivalent circuit. What is next? What is next is, in the problem they said, what is the voltage A, B, when there is a 3 kilo ohm resistor connected there? Sure, let me connect here a 3 kilo ohm resistor and find what is the voltage there. Oops, connect there the 3 kilo ohm resistor and find what is the voltage there. V0 was identified in the exam. Well, we can use simply a voltage divider and say that that voltage with that polarity would be negative 10 volts multiplied by the voltage divider. That would be negative 7.5 volts. And that covers that part. But there was something else in the exercise. Let me raise all of that. Now, the exercise said, apart from the 3 kilo ohm resistor, I want to put an additional resistor of a known value, R, in parallel with that 3 kilo ohm resistor, I want to have maximum power here, P max. What should be the value of this resistor? Well, let's draw the equivalent thevenin, because it's simpler to solve it there, right? This is 10 volts like that, 1 kilo ohm resistor, mm, the 3 kilo ohm resistor, and the new one. And we want that this resistor here absorbs maximum power. Well, to do that, that resistor has to have the same value as the Thevenin equivalent of this entire circuit. And we know uh, that um, uh, that is just the parallel of 1 kilo and 3 kilo ohm. So R has to be 1 kilos in parallel with 3 kilo ohms, which is 700 and 50 ohms. And that was the last answer to the question number two in the exam. Thank you very much and I hope to meet you again in the next question.